It is Friday, October 28th, 2022. Does anyone know what next Monday is going to be? It's going to be Halloween. Yes. So today our objective is that we're going to continue to practice our color words and our and what makes like when you combine together what makes your colors. And then we're going to learn about jack o' lanterns and we're going to make our own jack o' lantern. So I have our flash. What kind of jack o' lanterns are we going to make? Just I mean, can we make them any color, or are you going to yeah, give us gonna, colors, or how's that going to work? You're going to be able to color your jack o' lanterns however you want. And then we'll use some cardstock and you can cut out the base how you want. You can do eyes and nose, eyes and mouth, and then if you have room, you can do a nose and then you'll glue them on there. So I'm gonna hold up this and just as a class, we're gonna say the color and then we'll spell out the word too. So what is orange? O R R A N G E. a video about jack-o'-lanterns since jack-o'-lanterns are a big part of Halloween. It's a story read aloud. Oh, okay. I like cartoons, actually. Are you going to get to show us a cartoon as well? Maybe next. Well, then it won't be Halloween then. Do you need my help? Gonna get to see it. Written and illustrated by Will Hubble. 
creatively read by Miss Jill. When Tim carved his first pumpkin, it was fierce and funny and just perfect. A jack-o'-lantern this good deserves a name, so Tim gave it one, Jack. Long after the best trick-or-treating candy was eaten, Tim still kept Jack. At night, when a candle made Jack's face dance on the walls and filled the dark with warm pumpkin smells, Tim felt Jack was almost magic. Yet, too soon, the spell was broken. This pumpkin is beginning to rot, announced Mom. It's time to throw it out. Tim knew it was useless to argue. He carried Jack to the garden, which was filled with brown ghosts of last summer's plants. A dead garden is better than a trash can, thought Tim. Still, it made him sad to leave Jack outside and alone. Whenever chores or play brought Tim to the garden, he looked at Jack. Every time, Jack was different. He became wrinkled and his fierce smile began to look silly. Mold spread over Jack's bright orange skin. As the days turned colder, Jack grew flatter. Winter began. Soon Jack was hidden beneath the snow and Tim forgot about him. The cold, heavy jacket days came. Snowmen and sledding days, indoor days, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine. When all these days had passed and March winds melted the snow, Tim found Jack. There wasn't much left, just a faded and crumpled pumpkin skin, a stem, and a few seeds. Jack's Halloween magic was a distant memory now. Tim scraped a thin blanket of earth over the last bits of his pumpkin. Goodbye, Jack, he whispered. When spring turned barefoot warm, a tiny sprout appeared where Jack had been. Tim found it and guessed what it was. In the days that followed, Tim weeded and watered and watched that sprout. Slowly and steadily, the plant changed and grew. It branched and spread a web of vines over the ground, but no pumpkins appeared. The days turned hot. Flowers opened on the plant each morning. Yellow stars that twisted shut forever in the afternoon. Still, there were no pumpkins. Finally, Tim found a green ball growing behind a crumpled blossom. A pumpkin! Tim let out a whoop and ran to show his mom. By August, the plant had spilled onto the lawn. Tim's favorite game became pumpkin honey. He carefully waded among the leaves, searching for green pumpkins like hidden treasures. School began again and the days cooled. Tim had less time to visit the garden. When he did, the pumpkin plant seemed tired. There were few new leaves, and the old tattered ones no longer hid the fat green pumpkins. Then, one October morning, Tim woke to see frost coating the garden. The frozen plant seemed changed to a pale blue glass. After school, Tim discovered what the frost had done. The pumpkin plant's leaves were as limp as wet paper. It was dying. Tim searched among the withered leaves for unripe pumpkins. He picked them and put them on the front porch, hoping for one more change. By Halloween, the pumpkins had ripened to bright orange. There were many, for the plant had been generous. Tim was generous too. He gave away all but one. From jack-o'-lantern to seed to pumpkin again, the circle was almost complete. Now it was time for Tim to do his part. He gave his pumpkin a face. It smiled at him in a fierce and funny way. Tim smiled too and said, Welcome back, Jack. The end.
going to color our pumpkins and then I'm going to pass them out and then can someone tell me what the first thing is we do when we get our paper? Write your name. Yes. I'm going to pass it out and then you grab a pencil or pen and write your name on the top. And then I will pass out the markers I have. Um, you'll have to share with kind of your area and color your paper and then I will pass out the cardstock later and you can cut out your um, faces and then glue them on. Thank you. And you're, you can use your own utensils if you have them too. Since it looks like some people are starting to finish their coloring, I'm going to pass out the paper, a little paper for your faces. And if you'd like, you may, sh if you get a color you don't want, you may trade with a partner if they are okay with that. Okay, class, we are at time. 
Read all right time. Let's give uh, Lizzie a hand.